Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. I am joined with Twitch chat. We've got loads of deals, awesome summons. We've got free summons. We've got lots of shit to talk about. Lots of news today. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, everybody, probably first off and most importantly, we do have new summons. And of course, we do have Valentine's Salir in Warrior of Light summons. We also have the MR Plus Guaranteed Unit Summon, so make sure you are doing your free 10 pull of that. And we also have a Guaranteed UR Pull Summon for the rest of the week as well. So hope you guys are enjoying your free pulls this week, um, whether it's the MR Plus or it is the free UR Pull. It is definitely pretty incredible. Uh, we did get a 9 step up for Valentine's Salir. We also got a 6k step up. Pretty standard stuff. Death Machine has a guaranteed step up. Uh, no kind of like bonus banner for Warrior of Light. We do have a banner, which is uh, light applicable UR units only. Uh, everybody does have those uh, login shards for Warrior of Light though. Uh, so before we talk about kind of everything regarding that, uh, let me just show you how to use those reissue login shards. So you go to the Mog Shop and you can see the event medals are out and we'll talk about the Final Fantasy 1 events here in just a second. Uh, but down at the FF1 reissue medals, you can come here, you see you have 2400. Uh, up to 80 Warrior of Light shards are available, so you just kind of max that out, pop it in, and you get uh, your 80 Warrior of Light Mind Spheres or your 80 Warrior of Light Mind Thingies. Uh, important note as well, the Soul Metal Shop, uh, hopping over here, it does also have the Final Fantasy 1 UR mind sphere uh, so if that's something that interests you uh, definitely check that out um, other things that were added were of course the agitator and the final fantasy one reissue event medals the final fantasy one reissue event medals does appear to be a new shop with new items so you can repurchase like a new blossom of paradise a new rainbow fragment of thought uh, so there is that which is pretty cool as well of course probably what a lot of people are excited about which i'm not going to spend a lot of time on talking about in this video is a lot of the new bundles there is huge visual bundles right now so if you do want to purchase things if you are like a minnow now is really the time to buy uh, because they do have packs that are even like you know seven dollars like this one right here uh which is seven dollars but gives 30 rainbow spheres 10 rainbow fragments 610 paid vizior there's even one that's like this that gives like 3500 vizior so there is a lot of deals right now uh, i did just do my video for my amazon coin affiliate link uh, dig.gs slash coins so you can always check it out there uh, check that video out on how you can save even more uh, the Final Fantasy 1 collaboration shop, nothing too impressive here. No like paid Warrior of Light or anything. Uh, just more Warrior of Light shards and Death Machine shards. Uh, the 5k paid viz for 100 Warrior of Light and 100 Death Machine vision card shards. I, I, I would not buy this. I would be cautious. Um, I think particularly if you're a spending player, you have potentially other resources that 5k viz would be really good for for paid. Uh, we do have a version upgrade shop um again nothing really great in here uh if you are just returning to the game it's kind of a trap shop just uh stay away from it grab the exp cubes i always advocate grabbing the mr plus summon tickets just because they are kind of like a fun thing to do every day and you can get some urs from it and it kind of beefs up your mrs particularly with select quests coming up i do think uh, they are very good value and a lot of fun uh taking a look at weapons there's no sort of light plus five but there is a plus three here uh, we also have smart coat five dark gloves plus five and armor of light plus three in the shop as well so out of all of those i would say the dark gloves plus five is actually a good buy if you don't have enough recipes from originally farming it for garvel uh, hopping out here we do also have new uh bingo boards so if you already have warrior of light make sure you check out the bingo board and collect your like free 120 mind spheres from this we also have death machine if you're like me and your death machine is maxed out your death machine awaken a specific vision card is going to be bugged on the bingo board i mean what are you going to do we also have a uh, valentine salir challenge missions uh, that you can hit up as well uh, make sure you change your chocobo expedition make sure you change your chocobo expedition to snowstorm ridge so that you can and get the Valentine's Salir uh, unit shards. Unit bonus, of course, is going to be Valentine's Salir or Warrior of Light. So make sure you are sliding them in there as well. Um, in terms of the guild battle, they did add a new select guild quest. 
So if you pull up the guild quest, we did run this and we did test it a little bit on chat. Uh, so if you look at the rewards here, it does drop a variety of materials. I did not get any gold food, but I did get some really good magicite and other good rewards. It seems like the max floor is 35 at 150 guild XP. But if you guys got anything different, let me know. That was kind of where chat seemed to be maxing out. So I didn't get, again, any gold food. So I'm wondering if maybe just the drops are varied or if maybe I'm missing something that I have to do in order to get the better drops. Um, one other thing to know about Guild Battle, the Guild map did change today. Uh, so it did change to the Ice Attack Up Graveyard 3 map. So make sure you are adjusting your guild compositions this morning. Uh, taking a look at the far plane, we did get new snapper quests added. Uh, important note on the snapper quests, the snappers do actually have like a physical barrier on them. Uh, so they can actually do a physical barrier that absorbs like 10 attacks or something crazy. I'm not sure on the specifics. I just know chat was like, oh my God, put magic units in your gill snapping farm. So I'm not sure how this is going to affect mugging for gill snappers, but the gill snapper farms are so nice now. I'll just show you guys uh, how amazing, and it is double drops currently. So we're just going to come in here and I'll show you what you can get from just popping 20 skip tickets. Also, important note, the skip tickets do give affinity and they do give equipment proficiency. So if you're like me, uh, you are going to be getting a lot of messages every time you uh, skip because it's just going to pop up. So you can see here I got 32 gold snappers. Normally you get 16, uh, but 32, that is 32 million gil, everybody. That is 32 million gil. That is crazy. That is so much guilt. Like literally we're going to come to the shop, right? And I do have some selling passives active right now. And it's going to take some, it's going to take its time. 13 million. Now this is wrong. Oh, this is wrong. Oh. I wonder if the gold snappers are fucked up right now. I, okay, this might actually be, yeah, hold on. Let me exit and re-enter because we, we traded out those snappers here. So let me re-exit, re-enter, give it another go since we're in the middle of making a video right now because this might be important information. Oh, dude, that's fucked. Those snappers are fucked. Unless the snappers are not 1 million gil, but they should be 1 million gil, right? Like this has to be wrong. Okay. Anyway, don't sell your snappers. Hold on. I need to go make an announcement right now and tell everybody. Do not sell your snappers. You might be losing out if you sell your snappers. Like go tell your discords. It seems like the snappers are broken. Maybe I'm crazy, but they should be worth a million gil. So you should be getting that. This is concerning because I sold a bunch of snappers earlier and I thought I was doing the math right, but with the bonus from the tokens, I bet you it was actually wrong. Uh, so interesting for a news video. Uh, don't do what I fucking did. Um, <laughs> um, finally, last big update to talk about. We did get vision cards. The vision cards are not gonna be in the hard quest list. You do have to go to the world quests. They are not affected by the uh, banner or the, here, I'll pop it up here. They are not affected by the uh, premium pass. So keep that in mind. Also, there is a 30 day super value pack here as well. I know a lot of people like to buy that, myself included. So there's also that. But you do have to manually come in here, find the VCs and run them through. But you are going to be able to farm them for Vizior and other goodies as well. So that is one way to do it. All right, everybody. I think that is all of the news for the day. Hopefully the Gill Snapper thing gets fixed. I, I don't see any oh, current known issues. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, current known issues are not here dwan mine spheres okay yeah there's not a current known issue it says now now we have to check can anybody else sell their golden snappers does anybody else have golden snappers they can sell to check anybody at all is it just a one-off digs glitch or is it everybody 
You sold yours and it happened? Okay. Oh, so the one XL snapper is 225,000. But that's wrong because they did say the XL snappers were 1 million, right? So let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's let's go find the Let's go find the gill snappers and get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Let's go see cuz it should be a million, right? Yeah, 1 million gill. So, it looks like they're selling at reduced rates. Oh, so all snappers are being sold at reduced rates right now. Is every single snapper at a reduced rate currently? Because that's what it's sounding like. All right. Well, <laughs> don't sell your snappers. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go ping the Discord and the YouTube. Thank you so much, everybody, and uh, have a good rest of your day.